I'm actually rushing out. I'm not going to talk from here. Like, I'm not going to talk a lot. I want to go to meet Damas. And from there, I want to go look at a project like some work that we're doing for our new place. And then I want to have some work done. Like I need to go somewhere, sit somewhere to get work done, not here. And also eat because I haven't eaten anything all day and it's like almost 1 p.m. So it's so hot. The heat is still heating, okay? So I'll see you guys. I hope that this was not so slanted. I don't know why I feel like my tripod is a bit wonky. It's actually giving wonky. Why? I think it's better now, but guys, yeah. I am. Um, I'll see you guys, okay? Let's just go. I'll probably do more talking in the car if I feel like there's something I didn't say at this point. But I'll show you guys my boo-boo real quick, okay? Okay, this is my boo-boo. I'm going to have the brand linked in the description box, but I, I remember the first day that I got this and I did a try-on haul and I showed you guys this brand. I actually like this boo-boo. The cut of it is so different from all the other boo-boos that I have. I love this slit that it has here. I'm going to leave a direct link to the brand and possibly their name on the screen as well. So this is my boo-boo. I'm wearing this with my white orange and let's go. I'm just so happy because I just got a notification now. They just approved content that i have been chasing for the past week so i'm happy let's go okay guys um i just remembered two things first of all by the way i am not in my car i'm in my husband's car basically my car decided to develop a fault which and you know like when your car develops a fault like normally tire engine oil something when i was crying at the end of the last vlog some of you thought it was not that serious it was actually serious L listen i had gone out and somebody called our attention to the fact that because we stopped at the pharmacy to buy I, I stopped to buy a moisturizer and my car was leaking full from under we look under and it was the full tank the full tank literally had a hole how does the full tank get a hole Chidima does not know and then we had to patch it up to bring it back we did something they told us it was good to go but then we woke up again without nobody touching the car to the car leaking full again basically we had to take it to the workshop and they're changing the full tank completely but it's one of those like freak things that i'm thankful to god actually that honestly like we were able to flag it one and like we weren't driving and then it was leaking full and it was like you know something like bad like that we were had actually packed and somebody called our attention to it so that's one two is just the fact that <sighs> the amounts okay basically to change the full tank they, they put it like 300 and something thousand that's what we're paying to change the full tank completely it's actually insane but anyways like i'm just happy that i have other options like that i'm at a stage in my life where it was not something that would have crippled me for a while i had to use an uber to come back that particular day so the thing i wanted to talk to you guys about actually was this book they told us to read it for marriage class it's things i wish i knew before i got married by gary chapman has anyone read this i'm actually curious to see what you guys think about it i'm just starting but if you've read this because from what i understand now a lot of like some parishes or some churches would recommend that you read this during marriage class but if for any reason let's say you didn't if you've read this but you didn't read it tied to like marriage class or a church recommendation what did you actually think of it i'm actually curious it has two covers so the first time that they showed it to us in class because i'm returning this this is actually not my copy they said that this was what the, what the book looked like and i really liked it like the cover is very bright and yellow and red and all that nice stuff but when it was now time for me to purchase it and they brought it for us to buy this was the cover that they had available and i've told you guys that when things are like this is always a publisher issue so for example the red and yellow one was published by st paul's and this blue one is by jhp but the jhp one is actually quite nice because it has like pictures in it like black and white pictures but pictures still so have you read this book please let me know what you think i would really like to know show you guys what this looks like before but I'm really excited but yeah there's no progress here yeah? I settled for La Tarvena, I think. 
going to go through the menu and decide on what I want to eat and then I'm going to use my computer and just do some work. I don't know what I was thinking. I have not had good pasta in a while. This looks good. I also got a drink. This is non-alcoholic. I'm not sure what it is and then I got water. I have not had anything all day. I doubt that I will finish this but it looks good. Hey guys. Okay, so I just finished filming a video here. Like, I did a video on perfumes. I still have the perfume tray. I know that I didn't give you guys a perfume. I'm trying to be very careful here. <laughs> That's like a sneak peek. It's coming up or it's going up soon. I didn't give you guys like a perfume video last year. Is this dark? I don't think I need to. Okay, it's better. I didn't give you guys a perfume video last year and I really like this backdrop that I'm using now. So as I was like recording, I got a PR package from Pixie. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. So like I said, I didn't give you guys a perfume video. So I'd, I've just been filming a lot of videos. Actually, that's why I've not been able to vlog. But um, I feel like after this week, my nights become a bit freer going forward because i'm rounding up with classes finally funny enough i finished one class and i went to go sit under class i actually paid to do a course to learn a skill so i'm also doing that but this is what we have in here okay it says pixie since 1999 i have some mist from pixie at this point but this is a vitamin c one i don't have this they just sent this to me and this is just energizing facial water it says there are some masks in here. There's a mask. A pack. And I'll show you guys how they set it up. And then there's an under eye brightener. I haven't tried this. I actually think that it would be really nice to try this. So looks like this. Let's open this and see. Looks like this. I wonder how this works though. Opening it to see. Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. It... I think it has just one shade let me see if there's a particular shade this i'm going to try this out and if this works it will be a perfect addition to like my everyday no makeup makeup type of look you know so this is how they wrapped this up their PR packages are so nice like all the time so nice <sighs> I'm, I keep smelling to see if it has any scent to it. It actually doesn't. So, yeah. They just brought the light. Like, you guys will see how the sound or like everywhere just gets better as I turn off the generator. As they all turn off. Oh, I cannot even talk. As they turn off the generator. Guys, we've not had light for three days. To be honest, like, I know that, yeah, something has been going on the past few months and light has just been worse than normal. But when I tell you people that our transformer blew, okay? Oh, I, I heard it like two, two days ago. And after that, I was like, this situation is about to get worse. And it did. You guys should just listen. Listen to how quiet the world will become shortly. Did you guys hear that? I'm hoping that that came through on camera <sighs> please i'm about to talk because i felt like i needed to talk to you guys about love is blind if you have not watched love is blind hmm? if you're one of those people because i understand that and i'm sometimes like that when it comes to shows who is like oh i don't want to watch it or start watching it until they release everything because i think that that's one of the few shows that netflix actually releases at a particular order you're like one of those people are like oh I don't want to watch it until the reunion. I understand that. But please, I need to get something off my chest. AD and Clay. Listen here, I watched the episode yesterday evening and I was so upset. Like, and I'm not even one to, because the thing about reality TV shows is that you don't know how they shoot people. But the way that Clay's personality or character came across in that show, it just shocked me so much. It's so funny because I was watching it with my partner and we both had a running theory in my mind i was like i remember like that scene because there was this scene when they all had that like little reunion and everybody was confronting each other and i remember that ad ah, ah. 
guys i'm so sorry like they just took the light again i don't even know like so basically you people saw what happened within the space of five minutes it's like when you're flashing somebody to call you back so i don't know if nepa is flashing me to flash them back i don't understand any of this the light is gone generator is back on anyways where was i i was talking about ad and clay so i was watching love is blind with my partner because it's one of those few things that we actually like would be like okay we're kind of watching it eating scrolling through our phones and then he had a running theory on AD and I had a running theory on Clay. And I feel like that was actually a very good experiment between the two of us because I think she could see certain things about AD's character that maybe I was blind to as a babe, right? And I could see so many things about Clay's character that he was also a bit blind to as a guy. So we both knew, like we kind of like, as we were watching him, we're like, yeah, these people are not going to make it. Like they're not going to get married. But then I was of the opinion that ad was going to break it off she was going to be the one to say no and he kind of was like mm, that yeah like he the the clay's vibes very very off but that he also does not like he won't be surprised if clay is the one who calls things off i'm just so happy that we didn't bet on it because i was so irritated yesterday and the thing is like for me, I feel like AD came across a certain way. I love the way she cleared Sarah Ann, for example, that time that they had that whole meetup and they had that conversation. You know, I loved it. I love the conversation that they had. I love the questions that she asked. I love the way she painted out everything. But then I just feel like Clay used to blink a lot. And I don't know if this is not a personal bias for me. Like people that when they're talking about something, like their mannerisms are very, very, and they're blinking a lot. Like, and, I, and I'm even saying this is a very expressive person, but like from, the, there was something about the way he would talk that just gave the, me personally, and I don't know why now, maybe if this is, if this stems from a personal bias, it just gave the impression that he wasn't being very straightforward or like you weren't getting the, like just like, the most honest account of whatever it is he was giving at that particular point in time. So for me, I was like, yeah, AD is probably going to call it off and tell me why AD actually said this. Actually, to be honest, like leading up to it, I could see that there was a possibility, but my whole thing was like, oh, these two people are going to marry each other, you know? And tell me why I feel like Love is Blind is just getting progressively worse. Because I feel like in my mind though, in my mind, I was like, no season, could be worse than the last season of Love is Bad. Did you ever watch that thing? So chaotic. I was like, nothing could be worse than that particular season. Mm -mm. And then tell me why I just feel like with this particular one, only two people made it to the altar and then just only two people got married. And I've been seeing a lot of things on TikTok because TikTok is very, very good at like, if you enjoy content, it will start pushing more content like that to you. I saw like, one tiktoker talking about how like some previous contestants were suing love is blind sorry i just kicked my tripod we're suing love is blind and that in one of the whole thing it was like one of them was actually suing them for claiming that they did like mental psych evaluations on all the contestants and then they are realizing that that because there was this person basically this particular couple they didn't even like that they were cut out of the show but they i think it was from the previous season actually and then this person was actually arguing that they claimed that they did psychic but anybody who did a psychic evaluation would have seen that her partner had mental serious mental health issues so there's that and then the second thing again is that this oh they kind of also explain that love is Band also tells people like contestants who are coming on that and I don't know how true this is but this is something I watch on a tiktokers video that they don't need to want to have to get married like it's okay if they are not even open to marriage being their end goal and they just want to explore relationships and I'm like bro there's a wedding at the end of the show nobody should be coming on that show if their plan is not to actually work actively towards getting married because the thing about it is that if you also have some contestants who are just there to explore and it's so funny because we we're discussing it yesterday evening and we we're saying that the way love is blind is also set up now like a lot of the people who even end up not getting married or breaking up shortly afterwards like they go on to become mini celebrities right and if you people don't have like a very like strong pathway of like i really want to try as much as i can to get married on this show if that's not what you have going it's so it would be so easy for a lot of people who are just looking for fame to come and take advantage of the system people have in place because tell me why like i think as the years go by maybe next year only one couple get married I don't know but i was so like ugh, i just didn't like the way that last last the last episode went by the time that this comes out self maybe the reunion might have, have gone up and i might end up still talking about this in this vlog but my gosh guys like i really didn't like it i, I feel like 
Loki, I was just like, she will catch this bullshit. There's no way she's not going to catch this bullshit. I really, really love that whole scene between Clay's mom and his dad. And I feel like that whole situation was also, bro, guys, if a guy is constantly telling you that he's scared that he will cheat all the time, I am scared, I'm scared I will cheat. So I'm gonna cheat. I think I'm gonna cheat. My father was a cheat. It's possible that he's gonna cheat and we're gonna cheat together and I am still not over his cheating. Bro! He's lucky telling you that there's a part of him that he doesn't think he has control of and whatever he gets when you ignore that, you know. And it also shows you that, bro, and it also brings to the core something that we're also talking about. I think I actually really, really enjoyed the season of Love is Band or I watched it a different kind of way because I was watching it as I was doing marriage classes as well. I think it brought an extra layer of something to all of that to me because I, I just... No. It just also shows you like just how men are just busy. You think you're cheating on somebody, you think you're just cheating on the person. You're also cheating on your children. And his one was so bad that his father used to carry him in the car when he wants to go and cheat on his mother. So he's in the premises while his mother is being cheated on. It's just too much. And men are wicked because Gwagodimu, why is that something you would do? and expose a child to and now he's a grown ass man and your cheating is what he's chasing if he's sleeping I think I'm gonna cheat my father cheated everything it's because of what you did it's a generational thing maybe that man too also had a father who used to carry him and go and cheat and even people raise sons of I think I'm gonna cheat it's not good bruh that's, what, that's, that's all okay that's all I wanted to say I just feel like I had to get love is blind off of my chest because my sister no matter no matter doesn't watch love is blind Guys, that's just it, I beg. Hey, guys, happy Sunday. We just came back from church and we went from church to go have lunch with some family members. My face is so oily. I'm going to touch that up, but first, I want to do two things, actually a couple of things first, but let me go downstairs and load some clothes because I came back and there was lights. I want to load some clothes in the washing machine. And once I do that, I'll come back up, just touch up my makeup and then chat with you guys a little bit. I also have a package here that was delivered yesterday evening that I want to unbox. But yeah, okay, let me go. Usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I'm in the world of them. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, a GD. I came back upstairs sweating buckets okay it's so hot and that's the reason why I'm also wearing the booty that I'm wearing I'm just going to swap my jewelry out because I feel like what I'm wearing is a bit more formal I'm going to wear my Apple watch I'll show you guys um, what I'm wearing shortly to be honest it's not being uh, fancy um, I'm going to remove my Van Cleef I'm going to wear this other bracelet that I have. Like I said, I feel like the jewelry that I wore out to lunch and to church just a bit formal. So I just want like a casual thing because the booboo I'm wearing is like a midi booboo. I can't seem to find my lip gloss. I think it's in my handbag. i just pack these things away. It's so hot. I didn't even have this at the highest. That's why it was taking so long. I also have a video going up like in 15 minutes time. I find some plus. And I'm going to spray some perfume all over. This is the Amouage one that I unboxed in the previous vlog. This is Love Delight. I'm just gonna spray this. And that's it guys. I'll see you guys outside. This is my boo-boo. It's short and it works.
watch another match. They've been doing some work on this road and I think it looks really nice. All done up. Nice. put my wig on but because i'm wearing a booboo again i feel like i live in booboos these days my lips feel a bit dry i'm going out to have lunch with alma i'm running late i already told her that i'm running late but guys i don't know what's wrong with my computer like i woke up this morning had some tasks to do things to clear when it comes to every other thing it's fine but i think when it comes to final cuts it's just really really slow final cuts for those of you who do not know what that means is my editing software for some reason it's just really slow and i don't know why i've tried every single thing like i spent hours something that was supposed to be like a 30 minute task like i've been on it for like or i was on it for like give or take two hours and so many other things i plan to do i'm kind of running late at them at the moment so i'm just like let me go meet Alma. I will attend to all of this when I come back. For those of you who do not know Alma, Alma is my friend. Yeah, she lives in Canada, but she's visiting Nigeria at the moment. If you guys remember the engagement vlog, when the nurse came in and told me that her name was Alma, I was like, oh, I have a friend called Alma. I was referring to this friend in that particular part of the vlog. Okay, your name is Amma, Amma. is it? Thank you so You're much. Okay. I have a friend called Amma as oh, well. Okay. <laughs> I just want to clip this a little bit just to give this wig a different look, you know? Ow, just bang my hand. Just to give this wig a different look because I've been wearing it back to back and it's really hot. So because it's also very full, Chrissy's wigs, like you get the grams you pay for, right? So because this is full, it's not one of those wigs that like you don't feel the weight of it. Like it's not light, it's not scanty. So the part that I just, I'm going to take this and I'll just like clip it. I also love, like I love this whole thing going on here with the way that I've clipped it. Okay. That's it. This is how I'm going to go with Alma. I have a package that was delivered. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday, but you know what? Yeah, I have this. I have scissors here. So let's open it. This is from Ashlot. By the way, it was delivered just leading up to International Women's Day. So let's see what's inside. Dear Tim Mume, it is with great respect we give this certificate to honor and celebrate your remarkable accomplishments in the content creator industry. Your dedication, passion, and perseverance have made a lasting impact in your field, inspiring the society along the way. On behalf of all those whose lives you have touched and inspired, we extend our deepest appreciation for your extraordinary contributions to society with utmost admiration, Ash Locks. This is a very cute, like, thoughtful, thing for them to write and send to me and the way that it was all wrapped up in like official like let me just put this away thank you ashlox thank you i have a scarf here so let's open the scarf really quickly it's a very beautiful scarf guys it's actually really really beautiful so put that away and I, you guys know that I love t-shirts, so I have an Ashlox t-shirt here. Let's open that and see. That's all I have in here. Ooh, I love this. It's a fella t-shirt. It says Republic Fella. Thank you so much, Ashlox. So guys, let's, let me jet, okay? Let me go meet Alma before she, like, bro, I'm even still late now on top of taking permission from her, but... 
Let's go see Alma. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this on my head. I think it gives this like a nice look, so let's go. By the way, close up. This is close up. Close, close up. up. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> like vlogging you, like good. <laughs> this looks good. So we're waiting for the rest to come. Yeah. Do you mind? This is a lot. We need to be able to do it out. And we can pack it to go at the end of the day. Yeah. There's also pesto. This looks like a very good salad, actually. Yeah, so. Yay! I didn't think the price in this economy, this pros are big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I think that the price makes up for it because I don't think yeah. it's a cheap salad. <laughs> <laughs> So this is my no, bagel. The same bagel. We got the same thing, but has has cream cheese, and I told them to put my cream cheese on the sides. I don't know why that cream cheese is not focusing. Hopefully, you guys can see it, but yeah, this looks good. So the salad one has also been good so far. Like I think it's decent. The prawns really really nice. I think that the prawns are very tasty. So. It's good. You like it? It's really good. Okay. Now I'm excited to try. I'm glad I didn't get the turkey sandwich. Yeah, turkey is so dry. I'm so sorry. I don't do chicken or turkey sandwiches because I feel like they're just too dry all the time. Good morning. It's like 10 32 a.m. at the moment, and I've been up for a while just trying to get things done. And I was like, okay, before I carry on with today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things, okay? My hard drive. Yesterday, I woke up in the morning, tried to export some clips that I had already worked on, and it was supposed to be something that I'll do like in 15-30 minutes and then rush off to go see Alma. I ended up spending about like two and a half hours. So initially I thought it was the software itself. I thought Final Cut was what had an issue. Yeah. So I tried everything to fix it. I checked to make sure that the app was up to date. I tried to check to make sure that my computer was up to date. My computer was not up to date. So I had to update it and it was like a five gig update. So that took some time. Initially what had happened as I was leaving to go see Alma was like, I was like, okay, if this is like a thing about tasks, cause sometimes Final Cut does that. So I was like, maybe there are some tasks running in the background and what it needs is time. So what I did was I left my computer I went to go meet with Alma. I spent about three and a half, three hours with Alma. Came back, the computer was still hanging. So this was now like around 6, 7 p.m. I decided, okay, I was going to update my computer. Updated it, nothing. When I realized that the issue was even from my hard drive was when I actually ejected the hard drive and I tried to launch Final Cut as an application on its own. And whenever I launch it, it loaded fine. The only thing that would start hanging and just acting up and not load well was the library that I had in my external hard drive. I know that this is all just like a lot of talk to some of you who don't understand what I'm saying, especially if you don't edit. But basically, if you edit a lot of videos like I do, or if you have to just transfer and do and export a lot of heavy files, it's advisable if you have an editing software to actually edit from an external hard drive. And the thing is, you can actually buy a computer with a very big hard drive, so like one terabyte-ish, 
my computer i've had it since 2018 when i got it i got, it had like just 400 gig so it wasn't up to one, one terabyte so to manage my storage and make sure that nothing happens to my computer i edit all those heavy things and they go like gigs upon gigs i do all that editing in the external hard drive so that external hard drive was what got corrupted or something yesterday so i tried all i could do like i went to bed around 12 30 a.m yesterday but by the time i was going to bed i had established at that point that the issue was from the hard drive and erasing and flashing things like i don't like doing it when i'm tired in the evening i was like okay when i wake up this morning i'll reset the hard drive and see if that makes any difference and guys everything is working perfectly fine now i had to erase the hard drive completely wipe it flash it whatever word you want to use format i had to clear it out it was empty like brand new and then i started building a new final cut library from scratch i said i like everything that i had lost i built it up again um, from scratch and i put it in the hard drive so now everything works well you know it's just that it kind of like delayed me and kind of messed up my day yesterday so with that said i just hold on i'm coming i think i need to sorry i had to go and grab these okay so with that said you guys saw me grab these two things at ebano yesterday and i got them because i was just looking for healthy snacks because bro like i feel like in the past month i've been eating as if i don't have a wedding and my waistline is just looking at me it's like you don't have wedding so i was like i need to really clean up my diet i'm actively trying to do that now especially after dinner especially after i eat certain things i feel like i need to eat something sweet it's always been like that for me to make sure that i don't grab something that is not particularly healthy what i would do is i would get um dried fruits so when i saw that they had dried abalomo which is basically dried odara in the first vlog that i had up this year i showed you guys some of the like tasty odara that my mom sent to me from enugu so when i saw that they had dried odara i was like oh my gosh wow i want to try this out they had mango as well so basically i opened this first so excited all right you get about 45 grams of product in here so i opened this first i ju i just could not eat it let me show you guys what it tastes um it looks like first before i explain the taste okay so this is what the dried odara looks like inside and it's cut up in chunks like this right and basically it has a very like crispy con like texture consistency like this was dried to a crisp basically and i think that the goal here with this for them is to make sure that when you're eating it you feel like you're snacking on chips or something the problem however guys is that this is too sour like it is so sour like this is a type of abalomo or odara that you put in your mouth and you go ah like if you were eating like the real food it is too sour and i was like low-key hoping that maybe they had selected and maybe use like kotonu odara or odara wanu for this because that will make this a banger but the odara is so sour gosh i couldn't eat it so then i abandoned this and i i feel like crap because i bought two packs of this the only other alternative would just be to to maybe blend this in a smoothie i don't know so I immediately moved to it and I went for this because I was like, okay, mango is my favorite fruit. You cannot go wrong with mango. <sighs> okay. I don't even know how to explain this to you guys, but this, it tasted like mango, but it tasted like oily mango. And I'm not even like, I, I, I know that some of you will be like, oh, Dima, how was it? Oh, the snacks you got? It tasted a bit oily. And now I don't know that maybe in the process of drying this out, if they had to use oil, I don't know. Maybe they didn't use oil, but for some reason, I'm getting a slightly oily taste. I'm not saying that it has oil, but there's an aftertaste that it has that the best way that I could describe it to you guys is a bit oily. And I don't like that. Guys, um, I'm sweating. I had to run downstairs now like there was a bit of confusion i took way longer i was talking to you guys and i got a call i ordered some flowers for my friend i ordered some flowers for maz i'll get to that later by the time i'm done talking but then i think they accidentally gave the uber driver two flowers and i carried them and i was now asking him he was like I only ordered one she was like no that the brand gave him two and most of the time like when you're having this kind of back and forth with them so once i finish talking to you guys i'm going to call the brand look how i'm breathing because i ran up and down the stairs and i went out i was like when i'm done talking to you guys i want to finish talking to you guys 
Then I will contact the brand and tell them that I think there is a mistake. I'm going to go out at a point today, so maybe we'll just drop it off. I don't, I don't even know what the solution to this is, but to be honest, I don't know. Anyway, shall let me finish talking because I really want to finish talking before I figure out what I'm doing. Then, okay, so I made some notes here that I'm looking at because I want to make sure that I cover everything. The next thing, guys, I have to turn the AC on, please. It's going to be a bit noisy. I'm just sweating, that's why. I got some, like, I actually didn't get some comments here and I actually don't even like the fact that I'm addressing this, but I want to say it because this is also me speaking to some people maybe who might be feeling like this, but they've not said anything, yeah? or they will probably not say something. Let me explain something to you guys. So somebody was like, in my comment section, it was one of those very weird comments because you know when someone sends or posts something three times, like near identical comments, they posted it three times. Basically talking about how, oh, that they've, she has not been enjoying my vlogs of late because I'm not doing a lot of outdoor activities. Honestly, the old me would have posted a screenshot of this person here but the thing again is that some of you get so offended by things like this and i don't want anybody fighting or i don't want drama in the comment section but the reason why i'm even addressing this is because it actually reminded me of something else that i had been complaining about from another like because of another influencer like i watch her vlogs right or another content creator that i watch her vlogs so i remember that this creator like she normally creates content from home so she does like lifestyle vlogs the way that i do at a certain time a week but then the way her life has been set up like in the past six months or so she's had to travel more than she normally does so she's literally always traveling literally always traveling and i remember one of the vlogs she posted this year she was basically apologizing saying that people are complaining that she's posting a lot of travel vlogs that they want to see other things you know and all of that like it was and i felt like i was like I don't understand it because although like when she said it i realized that people in the comment section like literally now said it like very very vocally don't listen to people like that you know that they're just kind of like you know we're very very supportive and told her to do whatever she feels comfortable doing and the thing is that when it comes to vlogs yeah the purpose of vlogs is for somebody to show you their lives for what it is over a period of time you're not supposed to go out of your way to curate something that is not a reality and that is the reason why it's, they are called lifestyle vlogs so if you do not like something that pertains to somebody's lifestyle at a particular point you go and watch other people who have those things and honestly i'm not even saying this with any malice or any anger at all i'm just not at a point in my life now where i'll say that i'll make out time to start going out more in order to entertain you guys more like i know i've maybe tried to do stuff like that in the past and on a normal day you guys know like there are quite a few outdoor activities in my vlogs i even do travel vlogs as well but anybody who is actually a good follower knows that the way things are, are set up for me at the moment like i am very busy this comment was so annoying because they now ended it with congratulations on your engagement engagement will happen how long ago you know like sometimes when people will talk to you eh, you will know like it's just it's coming from a very weird place like when i mean very weird like very very weird place so this particular come in the last vlog i had just cooked for the first time this year and i was even telling you guys how i was even so sure that i probably will not even do a cooking video again until i leave this place and i managed to do it and i was so happy that i did it and some of you enjoyed it only for somebody to come and start complaining about the fact that i cooked in the vlog if some of you started following me a while back when my life was like set up differently than it is now and those are that's the kind of like activities you like i promise i cannot guarantee anybody gosh i can't believe i said i promise but i'm just saying that i can't guarantee anybody that i will go out of my way to incorporate those things when they're literally like they're a particular inconvenience now they don't even fit into my current reality guys there's so much going on i'm moving from this place very soon i'll even start selling stuff soon like because i know that the last few times i've moved like some of you have shown interest in buying some of the things that i own so i'll sell some things off right and once or before i sell or once they are ready for sale i will let you guys know right so there's that just also the fact that i'm busy i am just busy i feel like anybody who has planned a wedding knows how these things go i am just busy the least you can do to anybody who you actually think you like is be supportive and i'm a very very big advocate of it doesn't even matter what social media platform it is if you do not like somebody do not follow them if you do not like somebody at a specific period disengage there's a reason why there's a mute button right unsubscribe just go in. like do you, do you understand like at that point of that person's life whatever they are doing with does not really resonate with you and i get it right i honestly get it so that's just what i wanted to say guys like 
please like lifestyle content and vlogs they are vlogs for a reason and if not for the fact that i had already been complaining to someone about how people were telling because basically i'm talking about Aria's face and people were telling her oh she shouldn't be traveling as much that they want different type of content like it wouldn't even like make me think that i had to address this but for me i feel like it's just a thing that people do that i find a bit somehow where you go watch someone show you what their life kind of is like or a summary or bits of it and then you begin to pinpoint what you like and what you don't like this is not dstv it's, it's one of those really weird things to me i don't i feel like and that's what i'm trying to like communicate to you guys i just feel like there is no need to go about it like that it's it's one thing to say to somebody oh Dima, i cannot wait until you're settled and i begin to see this and that that's a good way to suggest something or you say to alia um girl you know i love it good things are happening for you i love the fact that you're traveling and I, I i hope you go like i don't know there's so many ways to structure something so that it sounds nicer than some people come here to make it look so anyways that's that i will try and do as much as i can or as best as i can here this place i live here if i tell you people that it was not designed for a lot of the things that has had to happen since I moved in here. When I moved in here, or not when I moved in, when I paid my rent, we were guaranteed 24 hours electricity here. It tends to be the case for a lot of service places, but this was just a few months before diesel price jumped. And a lot of people who live in service properties on the island will tell you that they no longer get the type of services that they would typically get pre-2021 ending, like things changed. A lot of these things were like it was just easier but it's not quite like that so even like my house was not designed for like an inverter like the inverter that i have had to put a lot of the things that i have had to do to kind of compensate for some of the things that have kind of become somehow like the house was not designed for it so that's the reason why for example if i had ever known that i'll be things would be the way they will be like they are now sorry my filming room for example would never have been facing the side of the house that it is because what has happened is it's literally facing the part of the house where everybody's generator is lined up so talking with your filming videos there is a problem and that's the reason why you guys see me kind of moving back and forth between that room when it's a bit quiet and this room right and these are also the rooms that like the acs that convert connected to the inverter like it's like a very restrictive thing but by the grace of god it gets better for me soon but anyways i wanted to talk about these things because i know that i've talked about them briefly to you guys before this was the first one this is empty and this is the eos 24 hour moisture body lotion in vanilla cashmere guys this smells so edible like when you wear this you're going to get so many compliments you smell like cupcakes you smell like vanilla cheesecake it's so good and then i didn't want to try this exact one again when i went to the store where i got this from i realized by the way when i went to that store the last time they were like are you doing with me i was like yeah they were now telling me that oh my god that so many people have come to buy things via because from their store because i have shown their store a few times on my vlogs and i was like oh thank you they were like oh thank you thank you i was like oh you guys don't worry it's not a big deal hmm. so the next one i got to try was jasmine peach and after this one i want to try another one i quite like this one this is like more like my go-to scent than vanilla cashmere is you know so guys if you're looking for a very good hydrating moisturizer that does not sit heavy on the skin that smells really nice like the fragrance that you get with them also lingers consider the eos ones i'll have these linked in the description box if i can find links for those who are not in nigeria so yeah there's that and guys i really want to try and finish this book do you know like i feel so bad because you see this this was where i was this book like when i showed you guys in the last vlog i had managed to read this much one weekend like that and i was just like oh i can't wait i am going to finish this because of how quickly i had like i was almost halfway through in two days but to ask me if i have seen time i have not seen time so what i want to do is to try as much as possible to see if i can read at least three chapters from this book today i want to try i really really want to try is there something else that i i'm forgetting like talking to you guys around Mm, nothing really i have quite a few things i have to do i'm looking at my to-do list oh by the way let me show you guys i know that you guys probably already saw in friday's video but i created a digital planner right basically it looks like this and it has different pages if you've not seen like friday's video please go watch it but it has like different pages that I really appreciate when it comes for planning if you want to buy this a link to it is going to be in the description box so basically you get five pages with this okay there's a monthly planner 
I think I'm going to put a screen recording somewhere on the screen um, that just shows us better. There's a to do, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a to-do list, okay. There's a daily planner. And there's a Kanban board that you can use to track the progress of certain tasks. Um, I really, really love this planner. I use it. It's literally, I took the things I enjoy and I do use pen and paper to do and I put it in something like this. I also made sure that it was A4 so that it's easily like printable. You can print it. I am also going to have like a like a more complicated, not complex share, but like an elevated version of this planner up to, it will be slightly more expensive than this, but that one will have links and it gives a very, very like a better experience for people who have like tablets. It's easy for you to go from one part of the planner to the other. Like you can, like, it's really going to work really great with notability and the likes of that. So I will share links for that, hopefully by the next vlog, but I love how productive, like, like how this has helped with productivity because I was actually very inspired to create this and that's the reason why that comment I was referring to like made me laugh a bit because do you people know the old me? At this stage I'll be overwhelmed but I promised myself because I remember like December last year I started looking at all I had to do in the first two quarters of this year and I was like already getting anxiety and I was like I'm going to try no matter how to try as much as possible to do my best and using this planner or planning things has really really helped me just made me motivated to do more and to finish tasks so this is what is keeping me sane i'm just surprised by how much i'm actually able to get done so if you're struggling with productivity consider this okay yeah let me go downstairs and tackle this flower situation this was what i ordered and i plan to drop this off i'm just waiting for the cake people to contact me one thing my friends are going to get is flowers okay flowers it's my responsibility. And I said we're going to talk about Mars. I can't believe I actually forgot. This one, I don't know. I've texted them. I'm waiting for a reply. Actually, there is a note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is... Oh, yeah. This is my note from Dima. I should have actually looked at this first. <laughs> ah. Is it possible that this is what I'm thinking that it is? By the way, guys. Um, hold on. Let me mount this because... Guys, Maz is engaged, like, if you people saw how excited I was, you know, because I remember like I was in marriage class and she called me. And she was calling me, I was like, Maz, I'm in class, I'm in class, what's up? She was like, go outside now, I need to answer your phone. And then she said, oh my God, that ring is gorgeous. And she showed me the ring. I started screaming outside. I'm so happy. Maz is so deserving. So, so deserving. Because she is the blight now. I got flowers for her. But then I just read a note, okay? I, I need to confirm something one second. Like I said, like Maz is so deserving. Like so, so deserving. So I think she's really going to appreciate this. So I'm just excited. Like I'm so happy when I like, when like I surprise somebody with something that they're not expecting. So I'm going to send that to her. And then I'm waiting for the cake to get ready, um, to be ready. Cause I've already ordered her cake. I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to go I might not be the one to do it, but go drop it off for her. Be a nice surprise. I'm happy that she's happy. And as I was saying, I already know it's in that card because I need to understand what's going on. It's so crazy because if this is actually what I suspect, I ordered, babe. Yeah, what's up? Did you send me flowers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Because I was waiting for Mazino's flowers to come and then the driver gave me two flowers and I was so confused and then I read the notes. Okay, I'm guessing it. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, baby. Um You're welcome, my love. <laughs> oh you're yeah, picking Mazino's note to her. Yeah, I want to do it because the thing is I'm getting it with something else and the other people said that like they can't deliver right that they can only do pickup so the most the easy, easiest thing was to now have it delivered here and then this and that goes to her do you get okay yeah <laughs> okay so i am going to go and do other things now but yeah i know flowers I... he was just trying to be cheeky because he knew the exact florist i was getting this from so he low key was like, oh yeah, join everything. And it's so funny because I'm realizing now that they didn't charge me for delivery. They texted me and said, delivery today is free. 
And I was like, oh, okay, maybe because I order stuff from them all the time that maybe they're just giving me free delivery. I didn't even question it. However, I'm just realizing that it's probably because my husband paid for delivery for my flowers and they're like, okay, no need to charge her to charge her too. Okay, guys, my phone is ringing. I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, I've decided to just go wash my hair and maybe put it, put it, put it in a ponytail or two french braids i'm not sure i woke up so early this morning because there was a water issue in my house basically i'm trying to explain to you guys that since because that was earlier than i normally would wake up and since then i've just been feeling tired like i have <laughs> like i want to go back to sleep but then when i tried to i couldn't so i stopped to carry Mazi's cake to pick up her cake and then from there I go to the hair salon and someone else will go drop the cake at her place. Okay, so I didn't get a picture of this cake. Like I was just waiting to actually see it in person and this is exactly what this is exactly what I asked them to do. You are the blind. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the back seat. change this chair so that we don't have to deal with noise okay i am doing work i'm literally uploading today's video okay because there's a lot of work going on there i got a package from huda this particular one i'm super excited about because from the day they announced this i i was just like imagining this i hope this is what i have here anyways but i'm also super excited because i just got a call you know i told you guys in the last vlog that i was going to bamboozle my mom into sending me stuff so they just called me and told me that oh that the things that my mom sent to me this morning from enugu so like <laughs> she basically put everything in a car and she sent it from enugu they just told me all oh, the things that your like your items from enugu have arrived lagos i'm so excited because i'm making arrangements to go pick, to go pick those items up so these lip products oh my gosh like the brown one when i saw it i love the fact that these they also sent me stickers it's too bright let me reduce this they sent me stickers the brown one i saw it on the model it looked so fire so beautiful beautiful okay this is the purse i love how puffy this purse is because apparently these products have like a lip plumping thing there is there's a cute mirror oh my gosh this mirror is so cute and i think that this will be my it will go into my, my bag. Okay, my handbag. Oh my gosh. There are quite a lot of products in here. And they sent me liners. <laughs> Guys, like I was just talking about this liner in a recent video. This is my favorite lip liner from them. They sent me, let me tell you guys something. Huda Beauty has some of the best lip liners ever. You don't even need to sharpen them. They are super creamy, super pigmented. I love the fact that they sent me five colors. No, six colors. Thank you, Huda. So. What I'm going to do, just to save you guys, because honestly, I have work to do, is I'm going to swatch two of these. I'm trying to, I'm hunting. Oh, there's even one that's like clear. Bruh, I am, I am enjoying, okay? This Coco, I think is what I saw a model wearing on their Instagram, and I've been thinking about it. And this one, this pink hair called Sugar Baby. And then the clear one, actually, there's a clear one, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to swatch three. We're going to swatch Coco, Sugar Baby, and Glassy. Guys, this looks so good. Like, on the models, let me tell you guys, like, so good. And, but can you guys hear that? Like, it's silent. There's light. Okay, so this is the clear one. It looks like this. Uh, actually, let me use the mirror that you sent me, and let's not be too chaotic. Oh, my gosh. This is a gorgeous clear gloss. It also, like... Can you please focus on me? Because it would just be like annoying. Okay, I'm focused now. If I was out of focus, okay. You guys know that I love me a clear gloss and this, this looks good. Okay, I love it. Guys, like I was literally waiting to get the email from them saying that this has been sent to me. 
and I'm just so happy. So that's the first swatch. Let me, cause I, I want to swatch three, so. So this is glassy swatched. The next is Sugar Baby. So Sugar Baby is a very nice baby pink. I'm just looking forward to retiring my lip lacquer. Okay, it's focusing now. This is very pigmented guys and I can't just wear this on its own but I'm just trying to show you guys. This is one of those things that you pair with a nice like brown lip pencil. Ignore this, okay. I'm just trying to gauge just how pigmented it is. Obviously, I'm not going to wear this like this, but this is just to show you guys how this color looks. This, for a black girl like me, is like center of your lips color. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. And I think that after this, I'm going to apply cocoa. Okay, so just close up of what Sugar Baby looks like. Again, I think I'll show you guys all of them outside of the, you know, packaging. Pat, pat. I don't want to tear this. I don't want to tear it. And then Coco, okay? Looks like this. Let's apply. Guys, when I tell you guys I was waiting for this package to land, let's do it. I love it. Oof, I love it. And because like the center of my lips are already kind of pink, I don't even even need a lip liner. For this because this gives the illusion that you've for me that like I have two different colors. I love it. Oof. I love it so much. Let me show you guys everything out of the packaging, yeah? I'm just waiting for my container to land. Oof. I asked for Oppa. I asked for Don't worry, I'll show you guys once everything gets here. I was just about to open this now and I remembered that my items from Renugu have arrived, okay? Open up everything up so that you are free. These are all the colors basically, okay? These are the three that I swatched. These are the other three. I love them. Oof, look at this one of my lips. It looks so good. I'm going to have links for these in the description box in case you're interested in buying any of them. And let me just upload this video for you guys and I'll probably see you guys much later. Just realized that I actually missed a shade. I think it was on my lap. Or oh, did I not miss a shade? I don't know. How many lip colors in total? Because I know I held six. Oh my gosh. I held six up to the camera. Yeah, it's actually seven shades. And this one was sitting on my lap. I did not know. Sorry about that, guys. This one is called Posh. It's like a very nice plum shade. Okay. Guys, okay, so uh, my container, my container has landed basically. It took way longer than I expected for these things to come through, but guys, right? like, let's unbox this, okay? We have the bag here. <laughs> Let me grab some bones. Ah, sorry, no matter. Go away, please. You told me you'll be back by, by 10.30. It's not 10.30. Why are you shouting? I've been waiting for you. What is 10.30 now? Guys, I grabbed some oh, okay. bowls. Uh -huh. Okay. I think we're going to do the Odara first. So... Yeah. My mom assured me that she got this from the same woman that she got the other set from. That other one was so tasty and so sweet. I'm just hoping that this is as well. You think it's funny? I, I was waiting for you. Well, now so, you are as you were there, you were not missing me. Oh, wow. Like, I will tell you what, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's not true. I'm going to get That's it there. I don't care if they are still there. Stop winking. Stop winking at me. Oh my gosh, this mango looks so good. This bowl is clearly too small. So I'm going to have it. Okay. This is Enugu mango. It looks so good. Like, my mom was telling me that 
it was so expensive though because she was like she said she bought like four mangoes for like one thousand or something i can't remember what she said but she was just telling me that i should make sure i enjoy the mangoes because they were more expensive than usual to be honest that's not shocking what i have in the blue bag here because i'm going to wash these ones now but what i have in the blue bag is over she had to freeze them they're still a bit cold, like cold to the touch, so that was the perfect thing to do. These are going straight into the fridge because they've been out of the fridge for way too long. So these are going into the fridge. So my mom actually told me not to wash this. Basically, she said, I don't know, like this is actually a hack that worked with the previous one. And I was very surprised. And she was like, you don't wash this, right? That you should just put it in the fridge. And every time you want to eat one, then you wash it with salt. But the minute you wash this, it begins to like go bad really quickly. So this is going to go into the fridge just as it is. Um, I'm not going to wash it. The mango though, I am going to wash. So let me wash the mango. I know that some of you wonder like why does my tap run like this? It's because there's a filter. And because there's a filter, the water comes, but it comes really slowly. It's okay, I'm patient, I'll wait. I don't have the time to wait for these to like dry or whatever. So I have some paper towel here. I'm trying to see how to show this bit. But this is basically my food tray or my fruit and vegetable drawer from my fridge. It's clean. I am going to throw the mangoes in here. Now it's too chaotic. Sorry guys. That took way longer than I thought, but guys, look at all those mangoes. I am so happy. Mango is literally the best fruit in this world. Focus on my hand exactly. And mango season is the best season in this world. Okay, bye. Good night, guys. I'm going to eat two mangoes and I'm going to feel all right. Hi. Guys, <laughs> it's a bit noisy. So I'm hoping that maybe by the time I'm done eating, that maybe this generator goes off. Right, but if it doesn't, I'll go to another room and talk to you guys. I'm about to have breakfast. I am having a wrap from Oisa. This is not the first time I've talked to you guys about this particular brand. Like they do really nice salads and smoothies and all that. I think in 20 I think 2023 or 2022, I can't remember, but I talk I've talked about them here and you guys I thought you remember. I want to end this vlog today. This one is I can't remember the name of this particular one. I'm going to try to have it up on the screen, but it's really good. I am going to come back and just like round up, talk to you guys about a few things. I'm thinking of maybe stepping out really quickly at a point. I don't know. I just have a lot of work to do. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I come back. Hello, guys. I have decided that i'm not going to go anywhere it's so funny because i was like oh i'm hoping that they bring the lights soon if they bring the lights and then i can film the bro like as i was there waiting for one person to turn off their generator the second person turned their generator on but guys towards the end of the vlog like this i always leave notes of things that i feel like i need to touch on based on questions that i got in previous vlogs so i'm going to do that really quickly but i've also decided that i'm not going anywhere because i was thinking i even made a note down that i have to decide on like where i want to go and i actually started asking myself dima why are you stressing yourself 
why Dima, why are you doing that to yourself because one wherever i go to i spend money or i'm going to waste money one way or the other it is either fuel will loss or my money will loss something is going to loss and i actually realized that my motivation my sole motivation guys was actually the lip glosses that i got from huda beauty yesterday i've just been obsessively thinking about how that cocoa shade is going to look on me with very minimal makeup i think i'm going to make it happen tomorrow because i'm having dinner with loved ones tomorrow so i'm going to use that lip gloss and see just how it looks with a nice beat on my face i had a very productive morning by the way and it made me very very excited like because i woke up i wasn't sure whether or not to leave the bed like i was kind of going back and forth like maybe should i sleep you know so, so let me explain the conversation i have mentally with you guys so when i wake up earlier than i planned to i start saying oh Maybe I'll do one or two random things sometimes and I'll be like, oh, I think I should go back to sleep so that I'll wake up and have enough. Because there's sometimes when you wake up feeling tired and then you sleep for two more hours and the energy and vibe is so different from the first time around when you woke up. So... I kind of did that but then halfway through i grabbed my phone i decided to send an email i sent about two emails and then before you know it i had gotten four things that i had on my to-do list done and normally these are tasks that i would just do but the fact that i actually noted them down and i realized that i would have to check them off once i got up from the bed it made me feel really good so for me like that's like four solid things done so i paid about two vendors i paid some vendors this morning and finalized some conversations like whenever like i finalize conversations with vendors i'm so happy i basically made a deposit for my traditional wedding cake this morning it's been like most of the time you have to go back and forth with different vendors you have to weigh your options and we were talking to this person and my mom reminded me that there's this lady that actually like i love her cake like my love for cake started with eating this woman's cakes and my mom was like oh she makes um wedding cakes now do you want me to talk to her i was like oh fine please talk to her and then when my mom talked to her i think maybe onto so like like on a family and friend p bro she charged us hundred thousand naira less than the person we'd been talking to the whole week i told my mom fine we'll go with her i paid a deposit this morning she's you know like i just love how quickly that conversation happened so that's that a lot of you have been asking me and i promised myself that i was going to mention this in this video what card i use on aliexpress I've told you guys that aliexpress is my go-to i feel like a lot of things there are just cheaper than they are on amazon and you guys need to understand that a lot of things that you buy on amazon actually came from sometimes vendors who are on aliexpress and they are way cheaper so a lot of you ask me how i shop there and guys shopping the process is like your typical checkout process on every other website however i've seen some of you tell me that you're kind of struggling with paying with different cards so you're asking me what card i use guys i use my providence bank card mass actually made me start using providence like mass literally influenced me where that bank is concerned and i've really not had any complaints since then their cards work every time on every trip i have had in the past year and a half i've used my providence bank card they also work on aliexpress around the time that a lot of banks had like limits like 100 naira limits or whatever you could pay on a lot of international websites with your providence bank card i'm not sponsored to say this but this is me asking a question that i know that a lot of you really really want an answer to providence bank cards are really good and their rates are also good in terms of conversion because the most recent one i remember was when i traveled to south africa i had traveled with two bank cards so i i paid for one thing two times i made the first payment on my providence card and i decided to split it and pay the other one with um, my other card and it wasn't a lot but i remember how shocking like the difference was because obviously like it's it's in rand and then when you pay it converts and bro providence rates were way better what bank card was that i think that like, honestly i also don't want it to look like i'm dragging anybody here but babe um baby i'm saying babe as if someone is in front of me but guys yeah providence their rates are also really good so that's the bank card that i use okay so that's one i have a note here to talk about my hair quick update I, I i think it's in the beginning of this vlog that i mentioned my car because i am carless at the moment okay i told you guys like there was this freak thing they said my full tank we pay like 300 something that thousand naira i said all of that tell me why the workshop called us today to say they couldn't find a replacement <laughs> that we should come and carry the car back that they are sending it back that they couldn't find a tank and then now like i'm actually proper stressed so what we've done now is that i've called like 
I've called a relation who has like connects at Ladikbon Market. If you don't know where Ladikbon Market is, Ladikbon Market is like a popular market in Lagos for like spare parts for like vehicles and stuff. And he's asked me for a few things to see if he can help me find a replacement for the tank. Even if it's Tokumbo, I don't mind. But they had a whole explanation as to why the tank is not like it's a bit scarce, but oh, guys. So basically now we're hoping that the person at Ladikbo, like someone at Ladikbo comes through for us. If not, we might have to go to the authorized like sellers of Ford in Nigeria. They tend to be very, very expensive, to be honest, when you try to buy parts from them. See me talking as if I know anything about cars. To be honest, my partner explained this to me. So we're trying to consider a couple of things before we now whatever. But guys, like, I was so confused when they said come and carry the car back. I was like, what? But anyways um yeah i talked about to do this earlier and if you've seen my friday video you know about this planner at this point guys i created a planner and then i'm selling it like if you're interested in it a link is going to be in the description box there will be a screen recording somewhere on the screen just kind of showing you all the slides you get with this planner but i'm very very proud of this planner I'm truly excited about it this has been helping me power through like this really busy time in my life so i think that some of you are really going to appreciate it i did a whole video showing how i actually use this planner on friday if you've not watched friday's video please go check it out but that's it that's basically it to be honest like there's obviously a cover page there's a monthly planner there's a to-do list there's a kanban board and there's a daily planner and i think that some of you are really going to appreciate this i am working on a more complicated version of this not complicated but an elevated version of this um, planner i almost said primer an elevated version of this planner that i know that some of you are really really going to appreciate so that's it i'm just trying to make sure that i'm not forgetting anything am i forgetting anything I don't think so if there's anything that i've forgotten trust me i'm going to mention it in the next vlog for sure also ask me in the comment section if i don't I'll, I'll try to answer but if i don't i'll try to answer it in the next vlog but that's about it i will try my lip gloss tomorrow during dinner <laughs> there's no need to go and waste money but that's it i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to me if you're not yet subscribed i'll see you in the next one